Your uh, child's let's go to Levi in Detroit, WCHB 1200, home of Mildred Gatt. Hey, how you doing, brother? I'm good. How are you? I'm just fine, sir. I've been reflecting over the weekend over a lot of things you were discussing last week. And for one, let me say that the gentleman that just called it was Charles. I can't understand for the world how black people can say, well, this is what we get under a Donald Trump when we consider what uh, the lack thereof of what was achieved. Uh, what did we receive, in other words, under Obama? Just please listen, please listen. You know, I'm kind of frustrated because sometimes, I know that you're a very intelligent man. I've studied your debate style, your, your, your ultra intelligence. And I ask myself sometimes, do you promote nonviolent resistance as a strategy that you really believe in, or do you promote it in a way to, and with all due respect, to uh, quell or to, to basically calm the f fire that is currently existing within the black community or, or within black communities throughout America as it relates to not only our lack of progress, but what we continue to take on a day-to-day -day basis along the lines of oppression. And All right, let me ask you. That, that, that's a good question. Let me ask you a question. The situations that we are fighting, that you have, you say you study what I do, from voting to police, reform, the criminal justice, getting people out of jail. These are the things that you know that I'm involved in, correct? I'm asking you a question. Yes, sir, I know, I know, uh, I agree, yes. Tell me what fire was going on in them areas that I was quelling. We brought the fire, what fire? The fire was started before you got there. You, you Wait, name, the name the fire that was there before we got there. The fire was the death and destruction throughout every black neighborhood. The fire was the... the, the but we, we and tell me fire. what black neighborhoods we went in and quelled the fire. You've gone, you've addressed uh, what, what, Mike, Mike, Michael Brown, for instance. I, I addressed Michael Brown when his family called me while he was still laying on the ground and asked me to come in. So and are you saying, wait a minute, wait a minute. Then are you saying they called me in to quell the fire that they wanted? I mean, what are you saying? I, what I'm saying? Michael Brown, see, I'm telling you how we get ourselves, and I don't know if you're well-intentioned or not, how we get ourselves confused. If Michael Brown's family calls and asks me or anybody to come in, right? And you say you study this, so you know that to be a fact. Then how do you ask who the victims ask to come in, why they're there, and not ask others? to come in with a different strategy that the family didn't ask for. Why are they there? Who oh, I being think, quelled? Uh, no, sir. I think you got my whole question wrong. I don't know, have a problem with you going in when, 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 when a family member calls or when you take the initiative to do it yourself. I don't yeah, have a hold problem. On, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I want to finish this. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. I want to finish this. A lot of people get confused because in many of these areas... Levi, there is no fire to quell. We go in to try and energize people. No, you no fire around voting ID. Let's take a break. We'll be right back.